Namaste Haryum, I am Acharya Pratishtha and I welcome you at Bharat Yoga English. Well, today we are going to talk about a very, very important topic and this topic is bone health. Now, these days we are getting so many queries that bones are becoming very weak, bones are becoming unhealthy and there are several problems. You feel lazy, you feel lethargic, you don't feel like doing anything and so many other problems are also connected to your bone health. So, without wasting any time, we'll just straight away start with this episode and we will understand what are these very simple ways and what are the changes you can make in your day-to-day -day life and in your diet to get healthy bones. First and most important thing is that you need to add a lot of green and yellow vegetables in your diet. So when I say green and yellow vegetables, they are really rich in vitamin C. Now what happens with vitamin C? Vitamin C um, is a great, you know, uh, it stimulates production of bone forming cells that increases the bone mineral density, which means it increases your bone density. So make sure that you add green and yellow vegetables in your everyday diet. Second is make sure that you add ample proteins in your diet. So when we talk about protein, the very first thing that comes in your mind is animal protein. That's not what we are talking about. Protein means the natural sources of protein. Add broccoli in your diet, add almonds in your diet, add uh, uh, rajma in your diet, lentils, beans and so many other um, essential um, high protein vegetarian sources are available and very soon I'll be coming with an episode on what are the natural vegetarian sources of protein and best and easily available natural sources of protein but till then you start with all these things that I shared with you just now. Next is you must include calcium in your diet. Now calcium deficiency is also one of the reason of um, you know decreased bone health so make sure you take ample amount of uh, milk, paneer and then bananas and other natural sources of calcium. Next is we must include we must take ample amount of vitamin D and K. So when we talk about vitamin D, again, we just start thinking about supplements. No, I'm not talking about supplements. Uh, vitamin D, as I always say, make sure the 20 minutes of your day shall be spent in sunlight. You will say, Guruma, you just say this every time. Yes, I say this every time because that's the most essential thing for your not just your physical health or not just your mental health or not just your spiritual health, but your overall health. So make sure that you spend 20 minutes in sunlight and then what are the natural sources of vitamin D? I have already shared with you and we will be sharing the link at the description box and at the comments below. Just check the pinned comment. All the links will be available there. Now, when we talk about vitamin K, so rich sources of vitamin K are green leafy vegetables, soybean and all the fortified food. So make sure that you add vitamin D and K in your everyday diet. Then uh, you must avoid low calorie diet. Sometimes just to lose weight, we just get Cut all, cut all the calories from our diet. Now, that's also not a good thing. We must take some healthy fats if we really want our bones to be healthy. And what can be better than taking cow ghee, but not cooked one, just a spoon of cow ghee is a wonderful, wonderful way to make your bones healthy. So make sure do not go for any fat diet. That's just not a good thing. Take a balanced diet, which is very, very important. The next is that it is very important that we maintain our weight. Sometimes we are just, we just, we are too, um, we are underweight or we are overweight. Both things are wrong. If you want your bones to be healthy, it's very, very important that we maintain a healthy weight. Now, if you are overweight, definitely you're going to get all these problems related to your bones. So what is the solution? Well, we have a beautiful uh, online weight loss program, uh, which is not just one sided. You can talk to our experts. It's like everyday session and uh, millions of people have lost their uh, extra kgs and they are living maintaining their weight and living a healthy and happy life so you can also join our weight loss program just whatsapp at this these numbers 9599945964 and if you don't want to join that program then we have many um you just go to our playlist and you will find free weight loss programs at our channel just follow them then also you can lose weight very very easily next is that we need to add 
ample amount of zinc and magnesium in our diet so when we talk about zinc and magnesium we again just start thinking about supplements but here we are not talking about some supplements though i will be coming up with a separate episode on what are the sources of uh, natural sources of zinc and what are the natural sources of magnesium but let's just quickly take a look at uh, what you can start with now so um, a good source of zinc is chickpeas lentils pumpkin seeds watermelon seeds beans and cashews these are very good sources of zinc so make sure that you add all these in your diet and when we talk about magnesium then it is spinach avocados nuts tofu banana cashew almonds seeds peanuts these are good sources of magnesium so make sure that you add all these things in your diet and you should have a good diet with ample zinc and magnesium omega 3 is also a, a very important element to keep your bones healthy so what are the natural sources of omega 3 again i would not suggest you to go for supplements make sure that you uh, you just get rid of all these deficiencies naturally which is very very important so when we talk about omega 3 it's walnut flax seeds chia seeds green leafy vegetables and beans these are very good sources of uh, omega 3 make sure you add them in your diet so uh, when um, now you must have seen one of my video which became very viral uh, some time back where i am taking these soaked nuts in the morning that's the best thing you can do so make sure that you soak uh, five almonds few uh, raisins and then fig uh, anjeer four anjeer and then uh, one big walnut and uh, cashews just soak them all and next day you eat them that should be the first uh, meal of yours and the first thing that you should be eating and if you do that most of your deficiencies will be gone so that's a wonderful way you can also add sesame in your diet which is again one of the one of good ways to uh, have healthy bones make sure that you spend 20 minutes in sunlight if you want to bid a farewell to your bone related problems and 10th and most most important is to not forget to practice gharshan kriya every night before going to bed so if you follow uh, practicing gharshan kriya and all these steps include all these things in your diet i'm sure within 15 days you will see a positive result now how to practice gharshan kriya i have a complete follow along video which you can watch and um, just go through that video and you will see that oh it's so easy just 5 minutes i have to spend every day and within 15 days my problem will be gone what better can be done right so make sure that you follow all these steps lots of love light and blessings if you have any other question any other query do not hesitate to send us your questions and your queries and i will definitely come up with a solution to that hamare sabhi videos ko hindi mein dekhne ke liye bharat yoga youtube channel par jaye and if you have not subscribed to this channel yet do subscribe and share these videos with your loved ones so that they also get benefited with this ancient science of yoga hari om namaste